everybody, this is Dr. Augusti Oliveira and uh, I am in an exciting place right here. I am in, at Envision Tech, uh, one of the leaders in 3D printing, uh, and I'm here with... Uh, my name's Chris Cabot. Chris Cabot is uh, an incredibly knowledgeable person. He invented the first 3D printed guide. Right? Well, one of the first 3D printed surgical guide systems using, uh, using machines to print out both models and surgical guides at the same time. Uh, I did that back when I first graduated from college. And, um, you know, I was using a different technology back then. I'm a firm believer in DLP technology. It's really the most accurate way to 3D print out a model. Um, what you see here is one of our DLP machines. Mm -hmm. uh, Envision Tech is actually one of the, uh, we are the inventors of DLP 3D printing. We've been around for 15 years. We have all the patents on that technology. Oh my God. Uh, this new machine is our CDLM, which stands for Continuous Digital Light Manufacturing. And CDLM is actually one of the fastest types of 3D printing technologies that is available today. Wow. Uh, right now what we have here is our temporary crown material, uh, which is actually one of the first FDA approved materials for the direct printing of temporary crowns. Uh, this material was printed in 15 minutes, so now we actually have a machine that can compete with the in-office milling solutions. Right now we only have one, uh, one color that we're currently able to print, but we're going to have seven new shades of this temporary material coming out next year, so it's really exciting. So uh, back on that, um, there's very few dental printing companies that are FD have FDA approved materials. Sure. So a lot of us are using the form, uh, form labs, that is an ISO certified material, not an FDA approved material. So this is really exciting. And again, you said 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes. Uh, the technology is made so that we can print incredibly fast. Instead of using the conventional uh, films that actually separate the, the layers as you print, we actually have an oxygen source that pumps oxygen into the material, mixes with the material so we can print in incredibly fast speeds. There's no up and down motion anymore. It's really just extruding the parts directly out of the material. That is so cool. Yeah. And for those of you out there that don't know the difference between the different 3D printers, there's really three biggies right now yes. in the affordable realm. So yeah. FDM or fused deposition modeling is like a hot glue gun. SLA and DLP are similar uh, in that we have a vat of a light curable composite more or less. Um, SLA like the form uh, two is it cures by little pinpoints exactly. whereas DLP will cure an entire layer at a time which gives it its great speed and great accuracy. Yeah that's the big point is accuracy across the build platform. When you're using an SLA type a printer, uh, you do have inaccuracies across the platform. The part in the middle might be accurate, but that laser tends to go from being a perfect circle to being an oval on the extremities of the platform. With DLP, everything's consistent. So every part that's on that platform is going to be equal in accuracy. Um, I grew up in an orthodontic laboratory. My dad's an orthodontist. Um, I used all the different technologies in my laboratory, whether it was PolyJet, SLA, and DLP. The reason I'm an advocate for, for Envision Tech is because DLP technology really is the best technology the 3D print out dental applications. It's been proven over time. Consistent accuracy, good surface quality, and speed is really the name of the game. Now, tell me the difference between the two uh, machines we have back here. So yeah. here we've got the the Perfactory. Is it the this v is our micro CDLM? So okay. you can tell the platform is relatively small. Uh -huh. If you see here, well, we can probably fit about eight to ten crowns on here at one time. Okay. But it doesn't matter how many parts that we have on the platform. You're going to get the same amount of print time. So unlike with SLA, where every time you add an extra part you're increasing the time it takes to do the whole platform. When you're printing with DLP, whatever the tallest part is, is how long the job is going to take. That's your rate determining factor. Okay. Okay. All right, so now we're moving on to a different machine. So the last machine we saw can only print temporaries and individual crowns, which is great probably for a lab, yeah. but a general dentist has probably wanted to do some orthodontic models, some surgical guides, and some temporaries. So tell me about this. This is the uh, Perfactory Vita? Yeah, this is the Perfactory Vita. This machine was actually developed specifically for the dental industry. We launched this back in 2015. Uh, it's the most versatile 3D printer that's in the dental market today. You can do all sorts of different applications. We actually have 13 different applications we can provide with this machine. Whether it's just printing out models, temporary crowns, we can also do these on here. Uh -huh. FDA approved night guard materials and surgical guides. And also what's really cool is our denture material. So wow. we don't have the FDA approval on this material just yet, but over in Europe it's classified as a class 2A device. So we can actually print these and have them readily available here in Europe. So we're doing this already right now. Right on. And the price point on this is a little closer to our dental world. Um, the last one we saw was about $35,000. This is $20,000 and $20,000 is a lot of money. However, to get into a high accuracy DLP 
printer. That's definitely not outrageous, certainly in the realm of the Jewel 3D printer. How does this compare to the Jewel 3D? So again, this is this is DLP, so it's similar to the Jewel technology, but you actually have more accuracy across the build platform because again, we were the inventors of DLP. So when we came out with DLP about 15 years ago, our patents have run out since then. But what our patents haven't run out on is actually all the software that goes on on the back end, whether that's our pixel bending technology, our grayscale manipulation. It all allows us to have that really good surface quality that Envision Tech is known for. So again, this machine can print about four models in about 45 minutes, so oh speed God. is real paramount with Envision Tech. So it really does depend on the slices that you print in, but for a general orthodontic model, you can expect about 45 minute time to print an entire set. Wow, that is incredible. Um, a lot of the times I'm printing things on my Form 2 printer and I'm looking at three hour, yeah. four hour print times. Um, one other thing to think about is resolution. So uh, resolution in 3D printers are really measured two ways. A lot of companies will try to trick you and advertise uh, the Z layer height or the, the thickness of the slices and say, oh, this prints at 10 microns or this prints at 20 microns. But the real li rate limiting factor is the X Y resolution. So Formlabs is at 140. Um, the Cell Robox FDM is 300 microns. Tell us the accuracy of this one. Sure. So this machine has an XY resolution of 73 microns. So it's incredibly accurate in the XY orientation. With all the research I've done with all the different machines I owned in my laboratory, I can tell you that XY, certainly you're 100% correct. From everything I've learned and from everything I've scanned in after I printed it, I found that if that XY orientation is underneath 100 microns, we're always pretty good for orthodontics applications. We want to be around 50 microns in the XY for crown and bridge applications. So it's really important to have good XY because that's what's going to give you a good fitting appliance at the end of the day. And that uh, the last machine we looked at had an XY of what, 35? Or, yeah. yeah. Actually, the XY and the micro CDLM was down to 30 microns. So it's easier to have a smaller, uh, a finer XY resolution the smaller the build size is. But 73 microns on a, a generous build platform like this is what makes the Vita such a big hit in the dental industry. Now, uh, there's a ton of dental resins, again, FDA approved resins. Um, how much are the resins per liter? Because I know Formlabs charges $400 for their S a liter of their SG resin. Yeah, yeah. Our, our materials are usually starting around $285 for a kilogram of material. Um, our night guard material is almost $350, and our surgical guide material is right there at around $350 as well for a kilo of material. And you can probably get about 20, 30 guides oh, per... You do a lot more than that. Oh, wow. You okay. Can, you can definitely get around 100 guides per a kilogram of our material. Oh my God, that's great. That is great. Yeah. All right. Well, Chris, thank you so much yeah, for absolutely. hanging out with us and talking. We really appreciate it. This appreciate is a really cool it. guy. Yeah. No, I look for, hopefully we can do some work back in the yeah, States. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Good to see you. Take care. All right.